Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Curly Girl Angela G, and today we are going to start my makeup inventory for 2024 series. So this will probably be four videos. It could possibly be five, but today is part one and it is all of my complexion products. So that will include sunscreens, primers, foundations and products like them, concealers, powders, and setting sprays. So grab yourself some coffee and settle in. This will probably be a little bit of a longer bit video and I will have everything listed in a pinned comment or in the description box for you. And let me know if you have any questions, but let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're going to start with face SPF. So the first one I have is the e.l.f. Suntouchable Woa Glow SPF 30. This is a sun protection and primer in one. And this is a glowy sunscreen that is supposed to be a dupe for the super goop one, I believe. And there is what that looks like. So I do like this. It sits nicely under makeup and stuff. Sometimes I feel like it's a little bit Tin Man-ish if I go in with too much. And I definitely don't love this on no foundation days, but it is a nice product. And if you don't mind the extra, extra glow, then you would probably enjoy this. Next is the Paula's Choice Extra Care Non-Greasy Sunscreen SPM 50 for face and body. So I am not gonna swatch these other two sunscreens, but this one is for the face and body. It does sit really nicely on the face. It does not break me out, works with or without makeup, and I really like it. It is also water resistant up to 80 minutes, and it sets to a soft matte finish, ideal for sports and outdoor activities. I've been through one of these before. I really, really like this, and I highly recommend it, especially if you just want a two-in-one product that you can use on the face and the body. Next is one that I got in PR from Skeepers and Super Goop. This is a Super Goop Super, Goop, Super Screen Hydrating Daily Cream SPF 40. So this one comes in a little pot, which is not my favorite way to get sunscreens, but it is a thicker, almost more like a moisturizer type product, but it is really nice by itself. It's not greasy or it sits nicely under makeup. So I do like it. And both of these two are in my plan to pan. Can't believe I said that right on the first try. I'll leave that video linked up in the eye for you, but um, I am definitely trying to finish up these two because sunscreens do go bad pretty quickly. So next we are on to face primers. So the first one I have is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Enriched Face Base All-in-One Primer and Moisturizer. This one is really nice. I can use it as skincare or as primer and it gives me a very hydrated base. The one thing I will say about this is it does have a pretty distinctive scent and if you do not like scent, you probably wouldn't like this because it is pretty strong, but I love how this feels on my skin. Next is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So this is a glowy primer. I do like this one. It's not my absolute favorite. For being a glowy primer, I'm surprised it's not a little more hydrating, but it is glowy and it is beautiful. So I do really like this one for days that I don't want to wear a ton of foundation, like maybe just spot concealer, go all together without any. I do like this one. It does look pretty under makeup, but you can't really see a lot of the luminance in it when it's under like a heavier foundation, but I do really like that one. So next is the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I love this one, it's almost gone, and I will definitely be repurchasing this. This is hydrating and a little bit grippy at the same time. I don't know if it really call, if it really claims to be a grippy primer at all, but I do absolutely love this one and it sits beautifully under makeup. It's smoothing, it makes my makeup stay put, and I really love this one, so I highly recommend it. Then last but not least are the two that I am working on in my plan to pan. The first one is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is the original one. This is just a smoothing, pore filling primer. I do really like this. I've gone through several containers of this in the past, um, but I'm trying to use it up because I do prefer the new liquid one. And then the last one is the Strivecta Anti-Wrinkle Line Blur Effector Instant Wrinkle Blurring Primer. This was also gifted to me by Skeepers and Strivectin. I really love this one. This one is definitely a smoothing pore filling primer. It's what I have on today. And I very much love this one. It's kind of silicone-y feeling. 
and it's also got skincare in it. So, but because of the skincare, I'm working on using that one up. I don't know that I'd repurchase this one based on the price and the fact I have so many other primers that I love, but that is all of my primers. All right, next is foundations and products like them. So the first one is the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation, medium to full coverage in the shade Nude. Comes in a nice glass bottle with a pump. And this is definitely more of a medium coverage foundation on me. It can be shared out some though. And I love this. This is like five or six bucks at Dollar General. And um, I would think this was a high-end primer if I didn't know better. So I do recommend this if you have a Dollar General in your area. It is a really good foundation for a very inexpensive price. Next is a product I got in PR from Skeepers and Bobbi Brown. This is their Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint SPF 15 Pro Vitamin D and Cactus Flower. And I have the shade Fair 3. So when I first got this, I loved it. The last few times I've used it, it has been more... Finickety. It does have the same scent as the primer. Here is what that looks like. It's pretty runny. I have to be very careful with what I use underneath this because it is finickety with certain products that will start pilling. I have found that the best thing to use this with is just the vitamin enriched face base with nothing else underneath it um, because otherwise, like I said, it pills up on me and it just doesn't look good. When you can get it to work right though, it is a beautiful, very sheer skin tint, and I do like it when I can get it to cooperate. Next is another one from Skeepers and Kelly Ray. This is their Free Dreaming Wellness Diffusing Tint, and I have the shade the three light plus neutral undertones. You have to really shake this one, and it is super liquidy, but this one actually packs a punch, even though I haven't used this in a while. Even though it is um, a skin tint, it does have pretty decent coverage so i do really like this one i need to pull it out and wear it again soon because i haven't worn it in a while since shortly after i got it but i definitely recommend this one although it is pretty pricey for a skin tint in my opinion i think this is like 40 or 45 dollars but i do like it next is one that is back in my collection i had decluttered this to kyra she didn't love it so she gave it back to me this is the catrice tree skin hydrating foundation hyaluronic Acid long wear. I have the shade 30 neutral sand glass bottle. This is definitely one of the more full coverage foundations in my collection. And I had decluttered this because it was so full coverage, but um, I went ahead and accepted it back because I do want to try it now that I've learned some different things for bases and stuff. So I do really like this one. You can get this on Amazon. Um, Catrice is no longer sold at Ulta Beauty, but if you're looking for a full coverage, foundation. This one is really nice. Okay, so next is one that is new to my collection. This is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint, and this one is in the shade 5. This is too dark for me. I just got this one from Kyra. I will insert a picture where I had this on last night, and it's super beautiful. I do have to mix it with some of the LA Girl Color Correcting Pigment in White, which is what's in this little thing here, and so I can lighten it because it is too dark for me. But this looked absolutely stunning on my skin, and now I want it in the right shade. Actually, I am going to order the pigment so I can use this entire thing up, and I won't repurchase it until I do, but I do really love this. I see the hype with this one. Next is one that I am working on in my plan to pan. This is also in PR from Hamish. This is their BB Moringa Ceramide Tinted Moisturizer Makeup Plus Sunscreen SPF 30. And I have the shade 23C Nude. This is really beautiful. It's kind of a medium coverage CC cream or BB cream, BB cream, not CC cream. And it's definitely one of the more neutral colors that I have. So it's a really good shade match. This feels good on the skin. It's pretty light and can be built up or stirred out. And I really like it. Next is one that is very sentimental to me. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear with the SPF 25 in the shade 135N. This was my wedding makeup in June of 23 and Kyra gifted this to me. She got in several shades and this is beautiful on the skin. can be shared out, built up, but it just looks flawless and I absolutely love it. And because I wore it for my wedding, Kyra did my makeup in case you didn't know that. Um, uh, this is just so sentimental to me. So I really, really like this and I definitely recommend it. Next is one that is newer to my collection. This is the Maybelline Stay uh, Super Stay Active Wear up to 30 hours in the shade 
118 light beige. This is really beautiful on the skin. I will have a wear test and review up on TikTok. If it's up, I'll link it. If it's not, then it'll be coming. But this is an absolutely beautiful foundation and I really like it. And we have the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint in the shade 110. This is a little too light on me and I also don't love this one. Everybody else loves it. I haven't figured out why yet because I don't love it as much as I do the L'Oreal Skin Tint, which I completely finished and need to repurchase but everybody else seems to love this so let me know do you like it or do you not like it and what kind of skin do you have i just haven't found a way that i absolutely love this yet so i might try mixing it with the danessa myrick since this one's too light and this one's too dark and see if i can get them to look good on my skin but i just have kind of mixed feelings about this one i kind of wish i hadn't purchased it next we have the merit beauty Perfecting Complexion Stick in the shade Silk. I have not even tried this one. I just got this one from Kyra. It's pretty light, but I do intend to try this one soon, so I don't have much to say about it. And last but not least is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream SPF 42 in the shade 23 uh, natural beige. And this is also in my plan to pan just because that's sunscreen. I do plan to repurchase this one. This is also a very, very neutral, almost leaning gray toned uh, B, uh, BB cream, but I love this. I've gone through an entire one of these before. This is my second one and I definitely will be repurchasing it. I also have three samples here that I picked up at Sephora when I was at Kyra's recently. I have the Makeup Forever HD um, Hydra Glow, the new one, and it is what is on my face today. I also have the Makeup by Mario and the Glossier Foundation, and I like the Glossier, and so far I really like, my memory was full, I had to fix that. So I think I'm saying I really like the makeup for everyone so far today, but we will see when I continue using the sample size. So that's all my foundation type products. So next we have concealers and correctors. So I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in the shade three. This is the Magic Touch concealer. Used it today and I like it so far. The Bobbi Brown Skin Corrector Stick in Light Bisque. This is almost gone. I will definitely be repurchasing this. I did receive this from Bobbi Brown and Skeeper. I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm that I got from Kyra. I had this before, decluttered it, and now I have it again. It's okay. Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade G10. Love this, working on this in my planned pan, and I did hit pan, you can barely see it, but... I, this is old, so I want to get it used up, but I really like this one. Then I have the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Corrector. This is in the shade Peach. Haven't used this yet. Got it from Kyra. And the concealer in the shade Nougat 2.5G. Love this. Also got this from Huda Beauty and Skeeper. The Kosas uh, Super Creamy Brightening Concealer 1.5C. Working on using this up in my plan to pan. Love this one. The Maybelline Stay Act or Super Stay Active Wear in 11. Like this so far. NYX Serum uh, Bear With Me Serum Concealer in shade Vanilla. Love this one. Super creamy. And this one is new. This is the NYX Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer in Vanilla. And I really love this, especially under the eyes. Super, super pretty, that top swatch there. I'm excited to keep playing with that. And last but not least, the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Concealer in 201 Light. I really like this one. Next, we have powders. So this is the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder in Light Pink. Working on using this up in my plan to pan. Really love this from the drugstore. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. Working on using this up in plan to pan and um it is almost gone love this wouldn't repurchase it the huda beauty um easy bake loose setting powder in cherry blossom cake love this kyra just gave it to me because she also gave me the mini of pound cake and i love this when i have this on today and then last but not least is the sephora micro smooth baked face powder in light absolutely love this then i have two setting sprays both from elf one is the stay all night micro fine setting mist love this one and the dewy coconut setting mist love this one also so that is my base products let me know if you have any opinions about any of these products and again everything will be listed i will also list my makeup that i have on today down in the description and stay tuned for part two i'm not sure exactly what will be in there cheek products of some sort i'm not sure if i'm gonna do them all in one video or not but stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit subscribe, turn on your notification bell. These will all be in a playlist when I'm all done. And comment down below. Let me know what you like and what you don't like out of this stuff. 
and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy collection videos and also follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook group. And so those will all be linked down below. And then my Venable storefront is also linked in case you wanna shop those affiliate links. And have an absolutely beautiful day wherever you are. Bye.